This 26 year old man had a few philic rumors about him going around, mainly because of his content and other things. The bidet made duet videos, and they weren't normal duet videos. As you can see from his duets, they're not appropriate. They're with underage girls. There are tons of other content creators over the age of 18 that he could have done duets with. This is the post that kickstarted the investigation of the bidet. This guy, Buddy, has been circling on Musical.ly for a while because no one could decide if he was a file or a perv or neither. Then a girl, Bit Hoji, came out on Musical.ly and said that Buddy messaged her and sent out some nasty stuff. She's underage. Other girls then started messaging her and showing messages Buddy sent them. Keep in mind, all these girls are way underage. The girls in the second video accusing someone for hacking his phone. He didn't say who, but he implied that it was Bithoji. They posted some indirects to each other on Musical.ly and he eventually blocked her. I went on his account and snagged these videos of him before he went private. I was doing some more digging on this guy and found a video where he was caught in a sting operation to meet a minor named Cat. He talks about some of the stuff going on. Said that that one video that was going around that you know which video I'm talking about. Yeah. You said it was from like two years ago, right? No, that was um the picture was from two years ago. The alleged picture. That's a picture from two years ago. Okay, so could you possibly prove that in any way? No, I mean that was from two years ago. It was to a girl that I met at the bar. Um, we started talking, and I mean I don't know how it got how it got around, but it did. So, and the only way that could have gotten around is if she sent it. Exactly. Yeah. So, have you by chance had a conversation with the person on that? No. I would I, check them for that. I, That's I would, very dirty. I know, it is very dirty, and uh, I'm still waiting back to hear from uh, the police department to see if it was anybody local. Yeah. And I've asked uh, the FBI when they came up and... Uh, the FBI showed up? Yeah. Yes, they did. They did. When did that happen? That happened right about the same time. Uh, so the Columbia Police Department showed up in September, like mid-September. Then a week later, the FBI showed up. Right. And, you know, of course, you know, uh, they asked me about um, the picture. They were more concerned about the picture, obviously. Right, of course. I mean, some the, uh, serious stuff. The video itself, they said it, it, it was creepy, but nothing was done wrong there. Right. As, as far as they were concerned. But they were more concerned about the picture and how that was being sent around. And they had already done an IP search and everything, so they were able to clear that that did not come from my IP address, neither my phone nor my ad, nor my address. Okay. So, but, so he was investigated, and he was talked to by the police and the FBI. Now, whether or not this is, you know, something that really irritates people or not, age of consent in the UK is 16, everywhere. Right. So even if I was saying those things towards her, there's nothing illegal about that now here there is yes here here in the united states there is in not, the UK it is. not not in every state the age of consent is 16 but like he said in the uk he's not in the uk he's in america the link to this video will be down in the description below in 2021 a tiktok account by the name puberty helper 101 was gaining attention the content on this account centered around helping young girls go through puberty. In hindsight, this sounds great, but in reality, it's the parent's job to do this and not some stranger. This was not just an account helping young girls. Its real motives was for grooming. Now, if you don't know what child grooming is, it is the befriending an emotional connection with the child, and sometimes the family, to lower the child's inhibitions with the objective of sexual abuse. Hey guys, I'm gonna pick three of you randomly and DM you and give you my phone number to help you and talk you through anything you need. If any of you would find this helpful, write in the comments and maybe I'll pick you. Just from reading that post, red flags everywhere screaming child grooming.
Now they have a video on their account showing how to insert a tampon into a teddy bear. Thanks to this TikToker, Bipolarsaurus Rex, for pointing this out. So there's a few things that are bothering me about this account. The first one, the main one, is that looks like a male's hand. It looks like a male's hand. I just have a sick feeling in the pit of my stomach about this account. And some are even saying they didn't even do it correctly. Now the bio in this user's account, I'm here for you, younger or older, girls, puberty is hard. I will help you learn. Like I said, that's the parent's job, not some strangers. A lot of information that this account is given found on medical information sites on Google. Now people are theorizing that this is a male giving this information out to children to groom them. As of right now, the account has been banned, but others similar to this seem to be popping up similar content. From what I see, these accounts don't have any followers. If they do, it's very little, or they're not even posting any videos. Now in this next part, we are going to be talking about some sensitive topics, and the children I will be adding to this video will be blurred out for their protection. I'm sure we have all seen the videos circling around about like Ren Eleanor and all of that just mess. But then I started doing my own digging. I just fell down the Pinterest rabbit hole and I found a man named Kurt. Out of all the comments on Ren Eleanor's account, TikToker Danielle Teeley clicked on Kurt Mill's comment, cute, leading to a rabbit hole of worms that she didn't know what she was getting into. And what she found out was horrific who commented on a picture of Ren from Ren Eleanor saying cute. So I clicked on his profile and then I clicked on his saved where it shows all of the pictures that he has saved. Um, and it's just little kids just doing little kid things. So this man has very disturbing liked videos. The videos themselves are not that bad, but being on a grown man's like section, puts them in the wrong context to be viewed. Kids upon kids as young as eight months old, mothers feeding their children, and a liked post asking for the best way to watch CP. He even commented on the post as well. He has videos saved of a little baby, probably 10 months old, just from the legs down walking. Something that we would see as so innocent. Little kids feet and hundreds and hundreds of little girls doing gymnastics. Now he posted a video asking people to stop spreading his liked videos around. He has had several questionable live streams as well. One with the cops show up to his location. In the comments, he states that he is hiding, but doesn't really say why they are there or why they are hiding. Now the next live stream, he seems to be stalking a mother and her child at the park, showing it to the world. Now his original account has been banned. I think that we forget sometimes that these creeps are not looking for children who look more mature. They want them just how they are. Please, if you post your children, maybe reconsider. Now this one doesn't really have that much information on it because of how touchy the topic is. Earlier this year, a yellow ring has been discovered on the TikTok app. The username I love CP only has two posts. Now the account has been banned and can no longer be seen. A Reddit user has a post exposing this account, which we'll be covering. The main things I'm going to be saying in this part of the video will be reading off this Reddit post that I'm showing. These are not my words. The post reads, I am a pretty big creator on TikTok. This is important later. Today, I found an account called I love CP that followed 183 little girls and had over 500 followers. They had a telegram link in their bio where they charged money to access it. I'm guessing for a distribution of CP. I reported the account to TikTok and TikTok said no violations found. Despite their name, they posted videos of girls and who they followed. So I made a video for my channel exposing this account and asking my followers to help me report this person to the FBI and Center for Missing and Exploited Children. I have over 170,000 followers and the video blew up quickly. However, after reaching over 20K views, TikTok removed my video for harassment. The profile profile remains up. I have been trying to reach news stations, 
I made other videos here and my followers have been tagging different news outlets. Please help me expose this. Not only does TikTok post files and child traffickers, but is actively protecting them. Please help. Now click on the first link for an update. Thanks to the diligent work of a Redditor on here who saw my original post, we were able to find evidence that the TikTok user LoveCP was in fact selling child abuse imagery on their Discord and Telegram links in their TikTok bios. Bios because they have several dozen TikTok accounts. Here's the proof, saw just text and usernames. With this evidence, I made another video and asked to help from larger creators, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Saw my video and now I'm working on them. I was also able to get the attention of a top creator, TizzyNet, who calls out stuff like this on his TikTok page and helps to expose people. He has a direct FBI contact and together we are helping to bring this file ring down. Thank you so much for helping me help these kids looks like it's being taken seriously. Although zero media outlets have responded to the several hundred tags, at least the named is talking about taking it seriously. That looks like a perfectly innocent video of a child. And it is. The problem is the context in which it is being used. Because that video came from this profile, and I don't think I have to tell you what the CP is an abbreviation for. And of course they have a link to Telegram because that's what these people do now. They use Telegram to sell and share these kind of materials. And what is equally concerning to me is the fact that they have over 500 followers. And while it's possible that a handful of them are like Predator Overwatch that calls out profiles like this and did call them out, you would have to believe that at least most of them are following because of what they have to offer. The links in these two posts, some of them have been taken down or taken down by TikTok. You can't really see them, but the ones that are up will be linked in the description below. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope this video helps shed some light on the TikTok app. I will continue to keep tabs on TikTok and other applications and making update videos on what's being put out there and what to look out for. And I'll see you in the next video.